Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to put uh, a Google form onto your website so that you can collect information directly into a spreadsheet from users on your website. And we're going to add uh, the add event form into the Jindy guide website. So let's start by going and creating a page that's going to hold this. So we'll go pages and add page. We'll set this up to say add event. And we're going to publish that. Come back onto the website and refresh the page. And we're going to see we've got an add event page now. All right, good. So there we go. We've got a big blank space for that. If you uh, look at your Google form and you ensure that this top box is unticked in the form settings, that means that the, the form is going to be publicly available. You click on send form and then click this button here called embed. That will give you an iframe and allows you to customize the width and height, right? So that's kind of important, but we'll come back to that in a second. I'm gonna go back to my page and I'm gonna paste in the iframe. Now it's important that you do this in text and paste it in, you see, so that it actually puts the iframe in there. When we go back to visually, you're gonna see your iframe again. So we'll submit that. I'm gonna refresh this page and we'll see that the iframe is going to pop up, but it's going to be a bit big. Actually, it's not too bad. It's been, oh yeah, there you go. See, it's uh, going off over to the side. So what we want to do is find out how wide this space is here. And to do that, if you, in Chrome, at least in Google Chrome, you right click and inspect on something above. And you see this blue bar it puts in. So what we've got there is a blue bar that says, it's 125 pixels, 525 pixels wide. So that at the very minimum is where the width I want to put my, uh, my iframe. However, this website is responsive. See, as it gets smaller, the width of this gets smaller and so on down to a mobile size. And as you can see on the mobile size, it's not really given as much ability to be able to see the rest of the form. So what I want to do is go back to the editor and go to text. And I want to make the width 100%. And 500 high, I can live with that, that'll be fine. So again, we'll save that. Go back and refresh the page. And now what we'll see is that it's the right height. And now we can see that we can scroll up and down. And there is our form. Well done.